They are being stolen at all hours of the night and all over the city, and now replacing them is becoming more and more difficult. We are talking about these catalytic converters. Drivers and auto shops are struggling to make repairs. CBS 2's Tara Molina joins us now. Tara, you spoke to a woman who's had to go weeks without her car. Jim and Marie weeks and she's not alone. We're learning with these parts harder and harder to come by. Those dealing with this growing crime are not only waiting on the parts, but they're waiting on appointments with body shops also overwhelmed right now. They were able to cut it here and cut it at the manifold. So it is now where my hand is is gone. Gone, cut, stolen, and sold on the black market for internal precious metal. With a theft problem growing, there are more and more catalytic converterless cars here in Chicago and across the state. Look at these claim numbers from State Farm. They've paid out 3.5 million in Illinois claims this year, 1.5 since April, numbers they haven't seen before. And big empty spaces like this, they're staying empty for a while. There's no inventory on the shelves because there are so many of these things being stolen. Warren Priest runs an auto body shop in the Uptown neighborhood. Here for more than 30 years, he's seen it all. And while this isn't a new problem, uh, it's running rampant right now. So is a shortage of parts. Manufacturers don't manufacture that for the volume of cars that are needed today. So with shops like this one already busy, people dealing with the theft are dealing with weeks long waits for a repair. I know one car, car that's waiting for at least four months now for one. One uh, auto body said they won't even look at my car for three weeks. We caught up with a woman not comfortable showing her face on camera in the middle of that waiting game and a very rough couple months. It's not been a good summer at all. Her home burglarized in May, her catalytic converter stolen in July. She's lived on the city's north side for more than 10 years, but now? It questions uh, my idea of being a resident of Chicago. She says she has neighbors in the same position, and she's had it. It doesn't seem like there's any solution to these problems. So we asked city, county, and state officials about that. And coming up tonight at 6, we're looking at some proposed solutions that they're working on elsewhere, including putting VIN numbers on these converters. For now, reporting live in Wrigleyville, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.